in the lives of patients in our region. They enable us to provide outstanding and innovative patient care at our hospital that is over and above what government funding can offer. One example of this innovative care is minimally invasive robotic assisted surgery. And our guest today is going to speak specifically about robotic cardiac surgery. London Health Sciences Centre's cardiac care program is one of the leading healthcare programs of its kind in the world. The program offers a wide variety of resources and surgical services to treat diseases and conditions including abnormal heart rhythm, angina, congestive heart failure, coronary artery disease, and blockage of arteries just to name a few. Minimally invasive cardiac or robotic surgery may be, pre may be the preferred method of surgery or often the only option for helping patients suffering from these conditions, especially for those who are not healthy enough to withstand conventional treatments and procedures, including open heart surgery. But as you may know, the provincial government supports the current medically accepted standard of care. And while robotic surgery is becoming more common, it's still leading edge and not yet the standard of care. Therefore, it's not always government funded. When pioneering procedures such as this are performed at LHSC, we benefit. We gain from research and innovation, the result of having some of the world's best clinicians and researchers right here in London. In order to retain and attract this talent, we need to keep technology on the leading edge. To continue to make innovative life-saving technologies such as surgical robots the standard of care, we need support of LHSC not only now, <clears throat> but in the future through legacy giving. Our cardiac surgeons at LHSC have embraced and in many cases pioneered min minimally invasive techniques that allow patients to experience a shorter hospital stay, a faster recovery at home, fewer surgical complications, less post-operative pain, and improved health outcomes. We are very fortunate to have one of these outstanding surgeons here to speak with us this morning. Dr. Bob Kiai is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at LHSC. His primary interest is minimally invasive cardiac surgery, including surgical treatment of atrial fibrillation, mitral valve procedures, and other coronary artery treatments. In fact, Dr. Kiai is one of the most experienced minimally invasive robotic cardiac surgeons, both nationally and internationally. He has performed groundbreaking robotic assisted cardiac procedures, including six that were national or international medical firsts. In, to his, in addition to his surgical practice, Dr. Kiai is an associate professor at the Depar Department of Surgery at Western University. He also collaborates with other physicians and researchers in technology <coughs> development for rob robotic assisted cardiac <coughs> surgery and is one of the founding members of the Canadian Surgical Technology and Advanced Robotics Program in London. CSTAR, as it's known, is a collaborative research and education program of LHSC, Lawson Health Research Institute, Western University, and St. Joseph's Healthcare London. Dr. Kiai is here to speak about advanced and emerging technologies that benefit cardiac patients. Dr. Kiai? Thank you very much for the kind words and uh, I would like to again welcome everybody and thank everybody for uh, coming on the very busy schedule to listen to, to what we, uh, we believe in. We believe that this technology has allowed us to be forefronts in providing probably one of the best cares uh, in terms of uh, individuals with heart disorders. So thus far since 1998 we, we just did our 600 robotic heart operation last week. Of those 600, 486 of them are uh, operations on the blocked arteries of the heart. Uh, 63 of them are valve surgeries. 36 of them are surgeries for irregular heart rate, which is atrial fibrillation. 41 of them are for when you have a hole between the chambers of the heart. And five of them are for ligating a chamber that has got a potential possibility of forming a clot. Now, if I go and show the benefits of the robotic surgery. So, Patients after any heart operation go to the intensive care unit. ICU stands for the intensive care unit. If you look at this graph, in red, we've got patients that undergo a conventional bypass operation. In these three different colors, blue, green, and yellow, luckily we've had the access of three different robotic platforms. A one-arm robot, one three-arm robot, and the Da Vinci ones. And these are all patients who underwent robotic surgery. So as you can see, the length of stay in the intensive care unit it's significantly shortened when you use robotic technology. 
Then we will look at the length of stay in the hospital. The amount of time they stay in the hospital after the bypass operation. Again, in red, we have conventional people undergoing conventional bypass surgery. And in blue, green, and yellow, we've got patients undergoing robotic surgery. It's exactly in half. Patients that undergo a conventional bypass surgery of the heart generally spend in the hospital between five to six days versus these individuals between two to three days. We've started to actually now bypass the intensive care unit, which doesn't happen a lot. The reason why we can do this is because these operations are done so, in such a small incisions. People do not need the intensive care unit. So thus far, and this is, this is the first in the world, we've done 29 patients that we skipped the ICU completely, just like any operation, like having your appendix removed from the OR, Patients go to the recovery unit. After four hours, they go to the regular ward, and their second day, they get discharged from the hospital. And again, that is a huge advancement in care of patients with heart surgery. I remember that what, what, what really interested me in heart surgery was my father had a bypass surgery 26 years ago. And he was in the hospital for 12 days back then. And now for me to be able to say that actually on the second day we can discharge a heart patient is a huge investment in care. And the only reason we can do that again with this particular technology. So to conclude, robotic heart surgery in our experience, we think that it's safe, effective, and faster recovery. We've shown that. Preserve the chest cavity, smaller incisions, it translates to less pain, less blood loss, less transfusion, earlier discharge from hospital, and earlier return to activity, which is extremely important. So patients of today and tomorrow will demand minimal invasive operations. I get more referrals from patients rather than actual cardiologists or physicians. With the internet, patients look up which institution doing it, and most of my patients are coming from Toronto, interestingly, because Toronto does not offer these procedures to them. Uh, they don't believe in it. I think they're understanding now they're losing a lot of patients to London, so hence they're now starting to actually put an ad in the paper for a, patient, for a surgeon that knows how to do robotic surgery. <laughs>